Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going out to Chicago. Welcome home, Randy Mad Yeager, legendary Midwest biker boss from the Outlaws Motorcycle Club. Uh, ran the entire Windy City region or quote unquote red region, which was uh, outlaw territory covering Illinois, Indiana, and Wisconsin. He was a top lieutenant and confidant of the legendary Taco Bowman. Harry Taco Bowman, the international president of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club, uh, just a game changer in every way. Uh, born and bred Detroiter, took the Outlaws headquarters from Chicago to Detroit in the 80s and 90s. And Randy Mad Randy Mad Yeager was his guy um, in the Chicago region. Even though he wasn't from Chicago, he was from Gary, Indiana, and he led the Northwest Indiana uh, faction of the Outlaws. But for people that are from the Midwest or that have been to Illinois or the Chicago area, you know that you know, similar to the way that uh, New Jersey parts of New Jersey are kind of suburbs of Philadelphia. In Chicago, if you live in Gary, Indiana, or Northwest Indiana, you're only 10, 15 minutes uh, from downtown Chicago. So it's, it's uh, for all intents and purposes, a part of the Chicagoland area. And Matt Yeager was Taco Bowman's boots on the ground out there. They both went down in the late 90s. They both went on the run. Taco lasted two years, got apprehended in 1999, hiding in a house in Macomb County in Detroit, being hit by the Italian mafia here. Matt Yeager stayed on the run for almost two decades. Um, he was not apprehended until 2014 or 15. I believe it was 14. No, I think it was 15. Nonetheless, um, Apprehended in Mexico in a very dramatic uh, confrontation between U.S. Marshals, Mexican authorities, uh, where they set up a sting operation. Matt Yeager and his wife were at like a beachside cafe. They were converged upon and wifey took off in a car. I, I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. Wifey took off in a car and ended up dying in a car chase with authorities. Matt Yeager was taken into custody with no, um, no problems. He ended up copping a plea to uh, a big racketeering case out of Milwaukee. Uh, Bowman's case was out of Florida. Um, but Matt Yeager was on the run for a long time. Spent most of that time in Mexico. Uh, he copped a plea, uh, took a, a plea of, I think it was 10 to 15 years. He's done about eight or nine. He is now out, checked into a halfway house last week in Chicago. Not really sure where he stands uh, within the club right now. I would guess he's in very good standing and that he would be a guy that uh, if he wants to get back in, would easily come back in uh, and uh, come back in at a, a really high level. There's a lot going on with the Outlaws right now. We know uh, out in Buffalo with Tommy O, but also in Chicago with this kind of invasion uh, from the Mongols and the alliances that the Mongols are making with uh, Hispanic street gangs there. Outlaws are countering it with reaffirming ties to the Chicago outfit, the mob, and then some let uh, Latino street gangs of their own, as well as some African American street gangs. Um, so we'll see. But but Matt Yeager is a guy that uh, his name rings from coast to coast in outlaw circles. A guy that you know, I always kind of talk about that holy trifecta: beloved, feared, and respected. That was what uh, Matt Yeager was. That's what uh, Harry Taco Bowman was. So welcome home to Matt Yeager. Hasn't been back to the Chicago area or the Northwest Indiana area since the late 90s, you know, when Michael Jordan and the Bulls were winning NBA championships. That was a long time ago. So 
Uh, good luck to uh, Matt Yeager getting back on his feet out there uh, in Chicago, Northwest Indiana. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein out.